Happy New Year's Day. It is the first day of the year and Jason and I are going over to see some friends. Everybody's cooked something. I made a sweet potato casserole and here we go, right? Um, if you say so. Bless our trip. Bless this day. I love looking at this stone in the sunlight. So pretty. Jason and I are back home. We had a really good time today with friends and there were several people there who are musicians. So when people start pulling out the guitars and the mandolins and, you know, just singing and having fun, I love that. I love to sit around and just, you know, sing along if I can. If not, it's fun to listen. There was so much amazing food, um, all sorts of just sides like fruits and vegetables and this amazing uh, some sort of seafood thing on little pieces of toast but it was so much more gourmet than that it was really good i heard it was easy but it didn't taste easy uh, it was amazing there were desserts and we had collards and black eyed peas to bring in the new year barbecue slaw i took a sweet potato casserole um just I don't even know everything. There, there was so much food there, so we had a really good time. But for right now, I want to play in this trashy journal that I've been adding things to, but you haven't seen it in a while. This journal is so much fun. So much fun. Um, some of you might remember this one. It has a lot of pink masking tape that is basically used to construct the journal. So a lot of these pages are just pieces of trash or recycling that have been taped in to the book, um, you know, to make pages to work on. So there's artwork. We've got this little pretty girl with the skirt that came from a popcorn box, part of an oil of Olay soap box and one of my trashy paper dolls. I love making trashy paper dolls. If you go to my website and search for paper dolls, you will find um, this printout, and then this one as well. This one would make a fun paper doll. You know, not necessarily the other ones, but you could use those for something else. And I will continue to add images that you can make paper dolls with. This one, I just drew myself with, you know, a pencil, pen, watercolors, and then added the skirt. She's got her little brooch that says non-GMO. And I love art journaling, and I love bringing art and recycle or trash together to make something really beautiful. This was a piece of broken mirror that I've taped onto the page there. Um, there's part of an old set of tweezers that I found in a parking lot, and I just sewed that to the page. Um, just bits and pieces. Of course, there's a little... Uh, McDonald's French fry cup and we've got another sort of trashy paper doll now this part her face you know the her her the bodice pretty much came from a, an ink stamp and it's you can see it's kind of faded not completely clear but then she's got this beautiful Cajun pinto beans skirt um, with the paper ruffle trim that's where some granola I had some granola so I put this pretty image inside picture of a fuchsia. Watercolor reproduced from the Victorian sketchbook of Ellen Stevens. We've got spinach. Uh, that, of course, was nail brushes, and I just, you know, used Sharpies to draw a little picture there. I've got to get more tacky glue. I still haven't done it, and I know that these will stay if I do. They keep falling off. This is from an old magazine page, like a woman's magazine from the early 1900s, and the pattern is 6991. So I had taken some of my little plastic letter things or number things and glued them on and they keep falling off. I, I just need a stronger glue. So let's see, going through, um, you might wonder what is the point of making a trash journal? I tell you one of the really fun things is being able to go back and look at what you purchased. Here is a tag from some sunglasses, Bob Mackie. I love these sunglasses. I'll have to show you what they look like. Um, Pet Links, Jeepers Creepers. That's a toy that our cats got for Christmas. And behind it is an old calendar page. So you can see the number eight through there. Just that good. That was from another packaging. Oh, and I love this paper doll. Look at her hat, Parmesan and garlic. Then she's got an apron made from some dryer sheet or a box of dryer sheets that was cut out. And then that's a soup label. 
and part of a pizza box back here. Still a lot of room to work in here. There's from a bread bag, um, some uh, perfume that I got for Christmas, and then part of a ginger ale bottle underneath. Ah, there's another paper doll. Look at her leggings. Look how cute she is. She's got her little hands up. Let's see, it was part of this sheet. It was this one right here. So I'll put a link to my blog, and if you go there and search, uh, in the search box for paper dolls, those two posts should come up where you can get access to those. And then, like I said, I will be adding more things that you can use. But for right now, I think I wanna make a couple more trashy paper dolls to go in this book. And to do that, I've just got a piece of mixed media or watercolor paper here. We'll just grab a pencil and make a little face here. One of the most fun parts. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull out, let's see if this Sharpie works. I have one that was kind of running out of steam. This could be it, I think it is. But we might be able to get enough just to do this paper doll. So let's do some eyes. I hope you can hear me okay. I've got the um, my little heater going out here. Oops. And a little nose. And then a mouth. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. <laughs> Her mouth is very out of balance, but that's okay. We'll add some color to it and it won't be so bad. So there, we've got this part. Let's make the neck and the shoulders. It's really easy to just come around and do some arms that are gonna um, kind of go, they can, they can go behind, like behind her back, or they can sort of be in her pockets. Like when you add a skirt, it can look like her hands are in her pockets. So now the fun part, so Let's use some of our trash to make the clothes, but let's fix her eyes up a little bit here. I really got those uneven. Which, I mean, this tells you, don't please don't worry too much about things. You know, it's all a learning process. It's all so much fun. Let me see if I have a little paintbrush out here. Some of my paintbrushes are inside because again, it's been so cold. This paintbrush is a little large, but maybe I can get away with putting some color on the, oh, and that, that pan is just about empty. That's got it. Put a little color in her face. And we could go ahead, actually. So let's give her some hair hanging down and maybe some little curly bangs and maybe like a bun on top. I love doing these little hair buns on the paper dolls. And then we can come back and add some color in the hair. Okay, so I had sweet potatoes today as part of part of the food we took to this get together we went to. I did the sweet potato casserole. Sometimes I do the sweet potatoes from scratch. Not always, I just went with canned today. Turns out great no matter what. So I've kind of measured where the waist is, but let's just go longer than than the paper doll actually is. And we're gonna cut across here and get that uh, ragged edge. So the paper doll, how big do we want her to be? Let's go ahead and start cutting. Okay, I can come back and measure that other side. But let's just cut her out and doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of just a loose, you know, waving the scissors around here and getting her big hair bun. We might be able to cut a ribbon out of some packaging or something. 
the shape of a ribbon is what I mean. I love doing hats. So making hats out of the recycle stuff is so much fun. So now look at that. She's, she's ready to dress. And when we look at our book, what do I do with the book? It's okay to have the paper dolls standing up too high if you're gonna glue them in. Uh, but this one, this one's pretty high. Like she's so far up there, I'm afraid her hat's gonna get messed up. So we don't want the, the paper dolls too long, but see, that's not bad at all. That's, that actually is, is perfect. So let's just go ahead and use this paper doll just like she is. And you know what? <laughs> I've come out here without any glue. I'm so mad at myself. I've been shopping twice now to get tacky glue. And then I get out, I start shopping. I get everything but that. And it's because I really have to go either to like Walmart or Target or somewhere. I don't even know if Target has it. I usually go to Walmart to get it. If I go to Michael's, I use a coupon. But this doesn't have to be anything serious. We can use staples for sure. And now let's make some sort of an apron, maybe some pockets. So let's see, ooh, we had this snowman, the little candy wrappers. I'm gonna do something with those. So maybe like this, this little part here that says Progresso, we might be able to make a hair ribbon with this. So I'm just gonna cut around the edge, all around. And of course, once again, like I said, I don't have glue, but we're not gonna worry about it. So she could have like this little progressive or progresso headband. So why don't we just staple that right there? So she's got that and she kind of needs, So we're gonna use this soup part to make an apron. Okay, so what we'll do is just kind of give it some shape at the top and go straight across there. So that gives her a little apron, it's so adorable. And she needs a shirt. I wonder, she needs a shirt that's made out of this uh, pizza, pizza box. So let's go ahead and get sort of the right size. And I feel like, let's put her right here. So the neck, mm, how are we gonna do this? I kinda just want Okay, so I'm making some little marks up here at her shoulders to show where the sleeve should be. And that's, that's really the only marks I'm gonna make because I want it to be, or actually I am gonna put it on the front too to kind of get the, uh, how wide it should be. So we want it to be at least that wide. I hope this turns out okay. And then maybe we can cut some little sleeves. Yeah, see how cute that is? We could actually bring it up just a little bit. So let's trim that down and trim that down. And go ahead and put that on. Maybe we'll do the staples right in the middle to make it look like almost like where a jacket would be. Now, if I had brought my glue out, we could add um, some more, well, we can add more embellishments. Could actually even use a sewing machine to add buttons. But if you wanna sturdy up the back, so, you know, just say you wanna use this not to glue into a book, and a lot of times I do this even if I am gonna glue it into a book. I add a support on the back. Um, you know, I might add something that's more the size of the whole skirt. And if you, you know, you could go ahead and cut the whole thing out to start with. I typically just do it piecemeal because I never know exactly what I'm going to end up with. 
So there is our trashy paper doll. And you can see, you know, you can kind of add things in the order you want to. Obviously, this has a lot of staples. You, you can use staples anytime you want to. Um, you could have also used tape. I could have used tape for this. I may come back and add another layer when I've got my glue out here, but that's how easy the trashy paper dolls are. We could add some little boots at the bottom. I will probably come back and do that. And I'm out here with my sewing machine. It would be so easy just to add, just to sew some things into place. Like that could almost be like some fancy, some fancy skirt. Oh, look how cute that is. We've got these layers and the sewing machine. That was easy to add. All right, let's find a place for her in the trash journal. Mm, she's kind of cute right there. So you know what? I think I'm going to glue her to this page. Obviously, I don't have the glue here right now, and I don't want to staple her. She's got enough staples. Um, so yeah, I'm going to glue her down when I have the glue out here, and I will keep adding to this. So the next time you see this, it's going to have more trash. Uh, you'll definitely see this again soon. I have been working in it quite a bit and was glad to pull it off the shelf again and get started with this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate having you here. Please like, hit the like button if you like this content and subscribe if you want to see more things like this. All right. Bye for now.